Good morning, this is Alejandra with another installment of your East Heights Eagle Eye Report. On Thursday, April 27, 2017, the students in F-104, along with Moises, Richard, and Yachino, participated in Special Olympics at RIT. The event was organized by a fraternity at RIT. The students participated in running events, baseball throwing, wheelchair races, and long jumping. Several ribbons were won, and the students loved seeing some of their past friends from Edison. Please enjoy the following video montage of this wonderful day. On the evening of April 27th, celebrated the opening reception of the district's Student Art Showcase. The art exhibit will be dis on display until June 2nd in the district's central office located at 131 West Fox Street during normal business hours, Monday through Friday. East contributed over 100 student masterpieces representing many different and unique art disciplines. Come and support the many talented art students from East High School. Now for a special message from Mrs. Blocker and Mrs. Wilson. You don't have a cape or wear neon tights. Instead, you teach at East and work to help kids shine bright. You don't drive the Batmobile instead of a car or have the ability to fly very far. Instead, you give guidance and hold high the bar that enables our kids to rise as a star. You use your knowledge and your warm heart and your precious time to fight for our kids and help them climb. You are their heroes that remove so many obstacles. You are the heroines that make all dreams possible. Thank you for being the Batman to their Robin and the Wonder Woman to their Superman. Thank you for being a superhero that executes the East EPO plan. Please know that you're appreciated for all that you do. Not, Not only this week, but all the year, year through. through. Happy Teacher Appreciation Week, We East. appreciate you. Finish your lunch and still got milk? Hello, scholars at East. Just want to let you know, I really, really appreciate the way you have been cleaning up after yourselves in the cafeteria. And just one reminder, please do not throw out your full milk cartons. If you have taken a milk and you have chosen not to drink it, please leave it on the table and we will add it to our food pantry for people in need. Thank you, East. Attention students, we are looking for motivated, responsible individuals interested in becoming part of the East High School television production crew. Learn camera operation, audio production, graphics production, or learn how to become a talent in front of the camera. 
Television production is a booming industry with many career opportunities. Upcoming productions include the Rochester All City Concert, Spring Sports, the East High School 2017 graduation ceremony, and East High football games in the fall. If interested, please contact Mr. Fitta, Mr. Robinson, or Mr. Hall. You're also welcome to visit the television studio after school most Fridays in room E114. We're looking to have we're looking forward to having you on our team. Ms. Donlin's advanced ceramics class took a field trip to the Wizard of Clay and the Corner Store Market. At both locations, they viewed professional potters as they worked and got to tour their, their studio spaces. The students were able to work on wheel throwing themselves and create their own artwork. Now here's Dr. Brock and Dr. Marrero with a special announcement. As you all know, last week our East High School family lost a beloved member in Jermaine Vasquez. This morning we would like to take a few moments to share some images in loving memory of Jermaine. If you asked us to put together a list of all the things that made Jermaine important to us, this eagle eye would be hours long. Jermaine was funny, protective, friendly, kind, and caring. He was outgoing and always had a smile on his face. Jermaine always pushed people to do their best and had encouraging words for those who needed it. He lifted us up when we were down and celebrated enthusiastically when we did well. And man, did he love McDonald's. East is a better place, and we are better people because he was a part of our lives. The March of Dimes March for Babies is a march to raise money and awareness to fight birth defects, premature birth, and infant mortality. I will be collecting donations. Even a dollar will help. 
If you want to help fundraise, please visit marchofbabies.org. Now here's Keyshawn with more announcements. The F203 family group challenged the rest of, F of the F200 family groups to a peep eating contest on the last day before spring break. Seven plucky p people participated, pounding as many peeps as possible in three minutes. Oh, and they were sour watermelon flavored. Let's watch. Dear East Upper School, are you interested in running for student government? Elections for serving in student government next year are right around the corner. Stop by Mr. Delahanty's classroom in E118 or Mr. Taylor's office in B114 to learn more. You can also learn more by coming to an information meeting in Mr. Delahanty's classroom, room E118 on Friday, March 5th during lunch. There are positions for the president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Don't wait. Learn how to run for the student government today. Stop by E118 or B114 to learn more. The college application process is scary and it comes at you fast. Upper Bound will keep you on track and we are accepting applications until Friday. Don't miss out on personalized college advice, invitations hey, to special Can events. Can I send in my friend's application? Sure. Um, we're taking it until Friday, but I'll take it now. But sure. while you're here, do you want to share your experience with Upper Bound? Yes, um, Upper Bound was, uh, greatly benefited me because um, they have a great summer program and also they help, um, there's many benefits that they help you out with. So would you recommend Upper Bound to other people? Absolutely. Thanks, Brian. You can find us in the cafeteria during lunch or at the College Prep Center in room F116. And now for your words of wisdom. In her famous diary, a very young Anne Frank wrote these words. Parents can only give good advice or put their children on the right path, but the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. Anne Frank is talking about self-responsibility, which, in a nutshell, means taking responsibility. For your thoughts, words, and deeds, our parents, teachers, counselors, and faith leaders can offer us valuable advice. They can recommend which path to take. They can share the wisdom they have gained through experience. But in the end, it is up to us to make the right choices. Today, practice taking responsibility for your actions. If you make a mistake, admit it. If you hurt someone's feelings or say something you shouldn't, apologize. Learning to be self-responsible is learning to be a person of character. And being a person with character is a goal we should all set for ourselves. We have the power to change the world, is high. Now let's get to work.